Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Creatively Expressive. My name is Amy, and today I'm gonna to be sharing eight patriotic DIYs. These DIYs are made from a variety of items, including Dollar Tree products, easy to find thrift store items, and wood blanks that I found at the Hobby Lobby for 40% off. If that sounds like something that's interesting to you, then please stick around. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you found me. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And I just want to say that I really, really do appreciate your continued support. Now let's get started. All right, let's get started. So for our first project, we're using this light up unfinished wood star that I found at Hobby Lobby at 40% off for $2.99. And I just stained it with a dark walnut wood stain. And now I'm gonna tape off um, the top corner of the star with some masking tape. And then I'm going to take some cobalt blue by Apple Barrel and I'm going to dry brush that blue onto that top corner that we um, sectioned off with that tape. And I'm dry brushing it because I want some of that um, wood stain to show through to give it like a distressed look. So I'm just going light with the paint. I want that blue color but I also want that walnut wood stain to show through. And once that's dry, I'm going to take that tape off and then I'm going to reapply the tape along the edge of that blue paint color. And then I'm going to paint the rest of that section with a white acrylic paint. And again, I'm dry brushing it on so that you can see that um, wood stain show through there so it has a distressed look. And now I'm going to paint off, um, or paint off, tape off stripes. Um, on that white area. So you just take a piece of tape and then you take another piece of tape and you put it right next to it. And then you put a third piece of tape and then once you have the three pieces of tape you peel up that middle piece of tape and you just repeat until the entire area is covered with the tape and you have stripes. And now I'm dry brushing over um, the area that's not covered with the tape with um, some red apple um, apple barrel paint. And again, I'm going light with the paint and dry brushing that on. And once that's dry, I'm going to peel up those pieces of tape. And that's all there is to this project. It was super easy, but I think that it turned out super, super cute. What do you guys think? And now for a second project, I found this unfinished wood circle at the Hobby Lobby. It was originally $5.99, but it was 40% off, so I got it for $3.59. And I'm going to use some blue painter's tape, and I'm going to um, tape off a portion of that circle. And I'm taking Admiral Blue by Apple Barrel, and we paint the bottom area of that with that Admiral Blue paint color. And now I'm just taking that tape again and I am lining it right along the edge of that blue. And then I'm going to paint just a little bit of blue along the top edge of that tape. And that's so that if I have any bleed through, it's just going to, onto that blue area that I already painted, it's just going to show up as that blue color and not, um, the next color that I plan on painting. It just seals in that tape better and prevents any bleed through. And once that little bit is dry, I'm just going to paint over that entire area with some white chalk paint. And 
And once that paint is dry, we're going to tape off some stripes with that painter's tape. So I'm putting a piece of tape right down the center, and then I'm just going to take a uh, small piece of tape and stick it right next to that first piece of tape, and that's just so that I can um, space my um, stripes evenly on my circle. And so then I just take up that little piece of tape and use it um, so I can section off the tape and get equally spaced stripes along the top of my circle. And once we have that all taped off, we're going to go over it first with that white chalk paint again. So if there's any bleed through, it's just going to be that white paint onto the white um, area. And once that white chalk paint is dry, we're going to take this red apple by apple barrel paint <laughs> and we're just going to paint over uh, those exposed areas with that red color and you just do enough coats so that it's a nice solid red color and once that red paint is dry we're just going to peel up that tape to reveal beautiful clean crisp lines with no bleed through at all and now we're going to paint that raised area that says America and those stars um, with some white acrylic paint. And now I'm using this ribbon that I got at the Hobby Lobby. It was originally $4.99, but I got it for 40% um, off, so it was $2.99. And I just take and I make a 12 inch tail, and then I'm going to twist. Um, to make a small center loop and then I'm going to make a loop right next to that center loop just slightly larger and then I twist again so that that pretty ribbon is facing me and then I make another loop the same size on the other side of that bow and then I twist it again so that that ribbon is facing me again and I make a slightly larger loop and then I do the same thing on the other side I make the same size loop and I just keep twisting that ribbon every time I make a loop so that the ribbon is facing me. And I do, I think I do four loops on each side and then I have that center loop. And then I, once I'm done, I just cut that tail off. And then I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and I'm going to thread it through that center loop and twist it together um, to make sure that bow is um, secure and uh, it doesn't fall apart on me. And once we do that, we just um, pull those loops that we made in different directions and fluff them up to make our bow. And now I'm going to do the same thing with another ribbon that I got at Michael's right after Christmas for 70% off. Except I'm only doing three loops on each side and I don't do that center loop. And then I'm just going to um, use pipe cleaner to attach those two bows together. And now I'm just going to hot glue that bow onto the top of that um, wood circle that we made. And now I'm just cutting up those tails so that um, they're shorter and we can see that America. And then once I cut those short, I'm folding them together and then cutting, um, I think it's called a dovetail, I'm not sure. <laughs> And then I just burn the edges so that they don't come unraveled. And that's it. What do you guys think? So for a third project, we're going to take um, the inner drawer of those little wood boxes that you can find at the Dollar Tree. And we're going to glue them together with some wood glue. And I'm going to have two rows of three stacked on top of each other. And then I just um, clamp them together so that they can dry. And I'm using small clamps in the front. And then I use a larger clamp in the, on the back side, which I don't show you. And as you can see, um, Dollar Tree is not very consistent with um, their products. So these are all different sizes. So I had to sand them down quite a bit once it's dry. And then I also, I stained them with a dark walnut wood stain, which I don't show here, but I did. And now I'm taking these um, foam dice that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to paint one of those foam dice with an Admiral Blue um, acrylic paint by Apple Barrel. 
And then I'm gonna, with the remaining five, I'm gonna paint them with a white chalk paint. But um, I discovered that with if you paint on those foam dice with chalk paint, for me at least, um, I get a lot of cracking. So I suggest you just paint them with white acrylic paint instead and save yourself the trouble of having them crack on you. Because I haven't experienced any cracking with the dice that I painted with that acrylic paint. So now I'm going to paint or um, tape off those dice with some masking tape. And so with two of them, I'm going to put that piece of masking tape right down the center of those dice. And once I have the one taped off, I set the, one, the other one next to it so that I can um, line up the tape correctly. And with the other three, I'm going to paint off the top area and then the bottom area and leave that center area exposed. And I just use a small piece of tape um, just to help me space out those lines evenly. And once those are all taped off, I'm going to paint over them first with that white paint just to seal it in. And then I'm going to come back in with a red apple color by Apple Barrel. And I'm going to paint the exposed areas with that red color. So for two of them, I'm painting the top and the bottom of the dice with that red. And then with the other three, I'm just painting that center area with that red color. And then we just peel up the tape to expose our stripes. And see, you can see it looks like a little flag. And at first I put small white stars on that blue one, but then I come back in later, I change my mind on that. Um, but now I'm just coating them with that Mod Podge just to protect them more. And so I'm looking at it and I think those stars look too small with those stripes. So then I decide to go back in on another side of that blue dice and just um, add one large star. But it's totally up to you what size you want to make your stars. And that's it. What do you guys think? Now for our fourth and fifth project, I'm taking this wood star that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was 40% off, so it was $1.79. This wooden box that I found at Goodwill for $1.50. And this Home of the Brave sign that I got at Hobby Lobby, it was originally $3.99. I got it for $2.39. And so first, I'm just taking um, some caulking and um, sealing up that hole on that star. And now I'm going to take apart this box. And instead of using it as a box, it's going to be two signs. So it was... 75 cents per sign for us. And now I'm just taking off that little um, square in the center of that one sign here, because I don't want that on there. And then I'm gonna sand that area down so it's smooth. And then I'm going to stain these with these this early American stain. And now on this sign, we're going to paint the sections of that palette. I guess it looks like a little wood palette. We're going to paint them um, red and white to look like a flag. And I'm dry brushing it on so that you can still see that um, stain show through. And it has a nice distressed, worn look to it. So I just dry brush on red apple by apple barrel. And then on the other ones, I paint or I dry brushed on that um, white chalk paint. And now we're taking this two blue color by Apple Barrel and that Home of the Brave sign that I um, stained with that early American. And there's like laser cut um, letters on this sign. And so I'm just going over those lines with that um, two blue color. Just the areas that have the lines. We're just gonna leave that home area alone. 
and I'm just tracing the outlines with that two blue. And now I'm taking a small paintbrush and I am going to try to dry brush on the inside of that area that says Brave with some white paint. And I'm dry brushing because I want that um, stain to still show through a little bit and for it to look distressed. And it's okay if you go over those blue lines, just stay inside the lines though. And once you do that and it's dry, then you're going to go back over those blue outlines with the blue again, just to clean up that, the messy white area. And here I'm showing you how I uh, cleaned up those lines. And once you're all done with that, we're just going to um, use some wood glue. You can use hot glue if you want to, but I'm not a huge fan of hot glue. So I'm using wood glue and I'm just going to glue that on there. And then I'm just going to place some heavy books on it and set it aside to dry. And now we're taking the other half of that um, wooden box and we're going to do a second sign. So this is project number five. So I put two pieces of painter's tape right in the center of that box, right next to each other. And then once I have those down, I'm taking some skinnier masking tape and using those blue pieces of tape as a guide and taping along the edge of those blue tape to make like a big fat center line. And then I'm going to use a small piece of tape to space out um, a skinnier line on either sides of that um, fat center line. And then I'm just going over those stripes areas with some white chalk paint. Just the center stripe and then those two stripes on the either side of that center stripe. We're going to leave the very edges um, that wood color, that wood stain color. And once that's dry, I just peel up that tape. And we're left with um, a fat stripe down the center and then two skinnier stripes on either side. And then I'm just going to take my little hand sander and distress that a little bit. And now at first I um, wanted to paint that star red, but then I didn't like the way it looked with that, uh, with the rest of that sign area. So then I decided to go back in with that two blue color and paint over that red and make my star blue instead. I mean, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Save yourself time and just paint it blue. Or if you like the red, then paint it the red. And now we're just painting over those raised uh, words and the raised stars with some white paint. And I am painting over the raised USA with white, but I'm going to have them be red. But I thought um, it would be easier to cover up that blue if I did the white first and then came back in with the red and it I would have to paint less coats on because the white covers a lot better than that red paint color does. So that's what I'm doing here. And now I'm going back in with that red apple color and I'm just painting over the USA with that red color and we're going to leave the stars white. And then we're just going to use some wood glue and glue that onto the center of that sign. Or not exactly center. We're going closer to the top than the bottom so that we could put this little established in 1776 that I cut out with my silhouette cami cameo for. <laughs> and then we're just sticking that on there. And that's it. What do you guys think? Here's projects four and five.
And now for our sixth project, we're using this little um, I don't know, beach sign that I got from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I took it apart. The top area comes off of that uh, bottom area with some little bit of effort. So I took it apart and I painted that bottom area with the Admiral Blue. And then I'm just going to use some masking tape and tape off uh, the two rectangular shapes on that top area. And we're going to paint the bottom rectangle um, with some white paint. And once that is all painted and dry, then we're going to remove that tape and then reapply the tape right along the edge of that white color. And I painted the back and the front of this sign. So I'm just putting, and then I'm also putting the tape along that top uh, edge so that when I paint that top square, none of it uh, gets onto that bottom square anywhere. And now I'm just taking some white paint and I'm going just along the edge of that tape just to seal in that color and so you don't have any bleed through once we paint the top area with that red paint. So once that white is dry, we're painting it with that red apple by apple barrel and as you can see I painted both sides of the sign and now I'm just peeling up the tape and now I'm just putting some I place that top of the sign in there and then I put some tape just so I can line it up correctly when I hot glue it back together and I'm just I put a line of hot glue into that little groove and then I just glued it back together and then I cut out some words with my um, silhouette. I cut out God and America in um, some white vinyl. And I'm putting the America on the bottom. And then God on the top. And then I cut out the word bless in black vinyl. And we're just going to put that in that center white rectangle. And that's it. What do you guys think? And now for our seventh project, I'm taking this little heart wreath, I guess it is, from the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to take off that um, shiny garland that's on there. So I just cut that all off. And we're left with a plastic heart frame. And now I got all these um, 4th of July ribbons from the Dollar Tree and I'm cutting them into 6 inch pieces. And once I have those cut, I'm going to fold them together and cut a little dovetail on them. And then I also have this deco mesh that I got from the Dollar Tree and I am just using this piece of um, foam board that is six inches wide and I'm just going to wrap that whole thing of deco mesh around that six inch wide foam board so we're going to have six inch pieces and then once it's all on there I cut along the top of that sign and then you hold it together and then you're going to cut along the other side which it wasn't, it was kind of hard, so I pulled it off of there. But you cut the top and you cut the bottom, and you're left with six inch wide pieces of deco mesh. And see, I'm cutting the dovetails on the ribbons, and then I'm going to use my lighter just to burn them, burn the edges a little bit so that they don't fray. And we're gonna take two pieces of deco mesh and then three pieces of ribbon for each of our little clusters. And you're just going to um, crisscross them together and then you just kind of pleat the middle area and then you take a half piece of pipe cleaner to um, secure them together. 
And once they're secured together, you just fluff them out a little bit. And then we're just going to put one cluster in between each of those little notches that are on that plastic frame. And so here I'm just, and I'm just, I have six different types of uh, ribbon, I think. So I'm just alternating which ribbons I use. But here I am, I just take three pieces of ribbon and two pieces of deco mesh. And I'm showing you, I cut that pipe cleaner in half and we just form a little cluster with the deco mesh and the ribbon by just crisscrossing them and then um, <laughs> pleating them together in the center. And then you fluff them out and then you just add them onto your wreath form in another between another two of those notches and then you just keep going until the entire thing is covered and once it is here I am just um, folding over the extra pieces of uh, pipe cleaner around the back so that there's none that are sticking out you can cut them off too but I just decided just to weave them around that frame and then I have this blue and brown jute twine that I got from the Dollar Tree. It was in their beach section, but the blue works good with this wreath. And I'm just going to make a little hanger. And I'm just equally spacing out where I tie that hanger from that center um, part of the heart where it drops down. And then I just took those uh, the pieces of ribbon and I pushed them all to the center of that heart. And then I pushed the pieces of deco mesh to the inside and then to the outside of that heart so that all the ribbon is just right in the center of that heart. It just gives it a more, makes your heart stand out more. And then I here I'm showing I found a little area where the ribbon is in the back. So I'm just going to find that and just pull that ribbon to the front with the rest of that ribbon. And then I got this little USA sign from Hobby Lobby. It was originally $1.99. I got it for $1.19 because it was 40% off. And we're just going to take some white, some red apple, and some Admiral Blue paint by Apple Barrel. And I'm going to paint that um, S with the blue. And then we're going to paint the U and the A with the red. And then we're going to paint those two stars with the white color. And once that's all painted and dry, we're going to cut off that um, jute twine hanger that they had on there. And we're going to take some pipe cleaners and I'm going to hot glue the pipe cleaners um, four on, uh, two on the top areas of that and then two on the bottom. And once that's completely dry, we're just going to um, feed that pipe cleaner through to the back of that um, wreath. And once the pipe cleaner is around the back area, we're just going to um, twist it into place around that um, plastic wreath form so that the USA is secured to the, that plastic wreath form. And there you go. What do you guys think? I think this one is super cute. And now for our last project, we're taking this sign that I found at Goodwill for $2.49, originally from Hobby Lobby, and it was $21.99. And first I painted over that green area with some blue, but then I thought this is going to take way too many coats. So I go back in with white, and I'm just painting, I paint the center sign white, and I also am painting that frame white. And you just paint it until you have good white coverage. And now I'm taking a damp rag 
and I'm just rubbing over the um, white area on the frame to distress it. You can either sand it or um, since it's chalk paint, it also works, um, uh, what do they call it? Wet distressing with a damp cloth. And now I'm just taking some cobalt blue by Apple Barrel and I taped off that frame. And now we're just gonna paint that cobalt blue into that center area. And just paint as many coats as you need until you have a nice solid blue color. And now we're just taking this unfinished God Bless America sign that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was 40% off, originally $3.99, but I got it for $2.39. And we just removed that jute twine hanger and we fill in those holes with some caulking and let it dry and then sand it smooth. And then I'm going to paint um, with some red apple barrel. I'm gonna paint the um, God in America with the red and then the bless and those center stars with white. So it mimics like the stripes on the star on the flag. And now I'm just peeling up that painter's tape and it peeled off some of some more of that um, white paint off of that frame, which is okay because I was going for that distressed look anyway, so it didn't bother me. And now I'm just using some wood glue and I glue on that um, God Bless America onto that sign, put a book on it and let it dry. And while that's drying, I'm taking some painter's tape and I'm going to uh, tape down a piece of painter's tape uh, sticky side up onto my little craft mat here. Um, and then I'm going to take some little wooden stars that I got from uh, Amazon in different sizes and we're going to stick them onto that sticky piece of tape. And then we're just going to paint all those with some white acrylic paint. And what the sticking them to that tape does is it just holds them in place for you so they don't move around while you're trying to paint them since they're so small. And once those are all dry, I'm just going to glue them around that God Bless America on that sign with some wood glue. And that's it. What do you guys think? And that's it guys, that's all the projects. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! All these flies. I need the source to like other ways to say items. So I'm not just saying items, 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 products, items. What else? Is there any other words for items? products. Okay. Get it together. Figure it out. Come on. Easy to find thrift store items and <laughs> of items including dollar store pro dollar store. <laughs> what dollar store? The dollar tree. The dollar top 25 tree. <laughs> oh, you're such a dork. Such Welcome. I <sighs> no, 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 no. Last video, I was looking in the wrong direction when I was filming. So I wasn't looking at you guys, but I finally figured it out. It might take me a little while to learn, but eventually I get it. <laughs>